Okay, so right now the sun input's starting again. Watch the battery voltage. Okay, see the screen went blank then? That's the inverter turning off. See the inverter flashing on the left hand side. So it's resetting, the charging current is showing 25 amps but it's actually stopped communicating, that's the reason it's still showing 25. Okay, let's come back again. Screen just went up. Climbing, 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 climbing. Boom, off. I can hear the inverter turning back on again now. Yep. Watch the charging current come up. Should come back shortly. Yep, here it comes, watch the voltage. This time it looks like it might have finally balanced. Now it's important to note that this occurred um, without any transient loads. Uh, we were just sitting here under the basic base load. It, it occurs as you reach the set voltage of absorb. Um, I'm just going to try and focus here. Okay, it's sitting at 59.4 now. We don't have any utility power by the way. This is pow powered completely off solar. If we have a look at the um, settings, you see what I've got it set at. The bulk charging voltage is 58.4, maximum charge current 60, and floating is 55.6. Now once you reach float, obviously this problem doesn't occur. If I was to go outside now and for instance use an angle grinder or, or some decent load, you know, 200 watts or more, you'd see that as soon as I stopped using that load, the same thing would happen. It'd jump back up above the 60 limit. And that is regardless of whether I set the absorb voltage at, at um, you know, I can set the absorb voltage down as low as 57 and uh, it'll still freak out uh, after you turn off a load. Seems to be sitting pretty nice now actually.